Welcome to the symphony. Hello and welcome to the symphony. Please take your seats. The concert is about to begin. Oh, this is so exciting. I've never seen a symphony. I've never been to the symphony before. I don't even know what a symphony is. Trust me, you'll love it. It's some of the greatest music you'll ever hear. The orchestra will be performing Symphony Number no. 5 in C minor by Ludwig, Ludwig von Beethoven. Oh yay, Beethoven's Fifth Symphony is one of my favorites. What's Beethoven? Mm. Beethoven is one of the world's most famous composers. He was born in Bonn, Germany more than 200 years ago. A symphony is a long piece of music usually divided into smaller sections called <clears throat> movements. It's played by an orchestra. Ludwig von Beethoven wrote nine symphonies. The concertmaster is the person who helps the musicians tune their instruments. He or she nods to the oboe to give the note A to the string section after the woodwinds have tuned. Press one. Look, the concertmaster is on stage. Listen to how all the musicians are tuning their instruments. The pitch is how high or low a note sounds. A note is used to represent the pitch. There are seven musical notes, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Sometimes they are referred to as Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, and T. La, 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 la. Am I in tune? Well, I wouldn't say you. We're in tune exactly, but keep trying. The conductor is a person who leads the orchestra. He or she lets musicians know when to start playing and how fast or slow to play, as well as how loud or soft. Who is that guy coming on the stage? Is he late? No, he's not late, he's the conductor. The conductor gets to tell everybody what to do. He's the director. The dynamics is how loud or soft the music is played, and the tempo is how fast or slowly the music is played, and that's what the conductor does. Symphony Number no. 5 in C minor was first performed in Vienna in 1808 and is the one of the first, the most famous symphonies ever written. Push that one. Two. Mm -hmm. the theme it's so exciting and dramatic yeah it sounds great what's a theme a theme is like a main idea of a story it is a part of the piece that you hear the most often it repeats in lots of different ways okay can you press three you hear the theme yeah. mm -hmm. it repeats itself I love the orchestra. They are just magnificent. Wait, what's an orchestra? An orchestra is a large group of musicians who play different instruments together. It is divided into various sections, the strings, the woodwinds, the brass, and the percussion section. The strings are the violins, the violas, the cellos, and the double basses. They are called string instruments because each one has a set of four strings that you play with a bow, Four strings, see them on there? Four strings. You play with a bow, here's the bows. Bow. Not like a bow and arrow. Bow. <laughs> or pluck with your finger. Bunk, 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 bunk. These instruments look alike, but they vary greatly in size and sound. The bigger the instrument, the lower the sound. So here, plus the via number four. This is the violin, is the smallest of the string instruments. It is the, la, the highest sound. It often plays the melody because its tone is bright and clear. Do the violin one more time. Good job. The viola looks like a violin, but it's a little bigger. Its sound is mellow and smooth, like a piece of velvet. Ooh, five. 
There's no, no. The cello sounds almost like a person's voice. It has a wide range of sounds from low to high and express intense motions. Press si Press six. Six. And the double ba bass sound stands very tall. It is the lowest pitched string instrument. Its deep and mysterious sound supports the harmo harmonies of the orchestra. Kayla, press number seven. So I'm gonna hear all four of those. The violin. Viola. The bass. The cello, I mean. And then the bass. The woodwinds are made up of flutes, oboes, clarinets, and bassoons. Most of these instruments have something called a reed, which is made of a type of wood similar to bamboo. When you blow air into a woodwind instrument, the reed vibrates oh, to make a sound. Well. The flute is the oldest of the woodwinds. In ancient times, flutes were made of wood or even bone. Nowadays, they're made of metal. It is the, oldie. It is the only woodwind that doesn't use a reed. So press number eight for the flute. another theme in the, in the fifth symphony. The oboe is a double reed instrument. It is made of African blackwood and has a clear crisp sound. The oboe has a sol solo in Beethoven's fifth symphony. Press nine. Nine. <laughs> the clarinet is a very old instrument that is based on an even older instrument called the chalmu, something like that. Like the oboe, it is made of African blackwood. Unlike the oboe, it uses a single reed. Number 10. And the bassoon is the largest of the woodwinds. It is made of maple wood. It is so long, it almost touches the floor when you play it. You do know 11? Maple wood. All right, so here we go. Here's the woodwinds again. Flute. The oboe. The clarinet. And the bassoon. The brass section is made up of a group of shiny metal instruments that can play very loud. You have to buzz your lips into a mouthpiece of, of a brass instrument in order to make a sound. The valves of the instruments, when pressed down, allow air to travel through different lengths of tubing to make different pitches. So the trumpet is the highest sounding of the brass instruments, like the violin. <laughs> It is often plays a melody because of its loud, penetrating sound. In the Middle Ages, early trumpets were used to announce the entrance of a king or queen at court. Caleb pressed in the 12. All right, now Caleb, press the, the 13 for the French horn. And that was developed from the hunting horn dating back to the 1600s. It started out as a long, thin piece of tubing with a mouthpiece at one end and a flared bell at the other. And then Caleb, do the trombone. The trombone is the only instrument that has no valves or keys. It has a slide that moves up and down to change its pitch. And in Beethoven's Fifth Symphony, the trombones don't play until the fourth movement. So we won't hear them in the song we're listening to. So here we go again, 12, trumpet. <laughs> Okay, then the French horn. Come around here and do it. No. <laughs> and the trombone. <coughs> okay. The percussion instruments are ones that you strike or hit to make a sound. Drums, triangles, glockenspiels, xylophones, and timpani are all percussion instruments. Beethoven only uses the timpani in Symphony Number no. 5. It is known as kettle drums. This is what he uses as a percussion. Are large drums that you strike with mallets. Do number 15. The drum is shaped like a bowl, usually made of copper, that is covered with a plastic skin or calf skin. The skins are tightened and loosened 
with screws and foot pedals that change their pitch. What's this called? The tippany. <coughs> And then some in modern instruments include, or some modern orchestras include other instruments that don't have a part in Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. Symphony number five. Some of these instruments, like the tuba, hadn't been invented when Beethoven was alive. This is the glockenspiel and the snare drum and the harp and even the piano wasn't invented when he was alive. So music is like a conversation. The instruments talk to one another. Sometimes the strings talk to the woodwinds and sometimes the brass will have something to say. Each section takes turns speaking and listening and then they play together. Did you hear that? The instruments talk to each other. Yeah, just like we're talking to us now. Yeah, while I'm trying to listen. Shh. Caleb, press number 16. Hear the two talking. Are they repeating? Did you hear that? Do that one again. On one side and the other side. The violins and the bassoons are talking to each other, or the oboes, the woodwinds. A melody is a tune. It is a series of notes that make up a musical sentence. Okay. Do you hear that? Da, 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 da. So we're gonna say for that, this is the first movement. When you hear that, you can say, Where's the Yeah, okay. This is the first movement. The harmony is the combination of two or more pitches standing together. Beethoven is famous for his powerful harmonies. Okay, Caleb, push 18. Do you hear that? Two, the trumpets are all doing it at the same time. Let's try that again. 18 again. And then you keep dun, 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 dun. All right, the end of the first movement, Beethoven's Fifth Symphony in C minor has four movements in all. Each of these musical movements has a different feeling and a different tempo. Can you press 19? movement we don't pop yet you mean there's more Beethoven to come yay and that is the end